today. As you were by now, I have resigned my federal seat in the House of Commons. After 25 years, I felt that it's time for a change and to do new things. My mother is almost 85, and I do want to be closer to my family and to be home every night after work. Today, in the morning at 10 o'clock, I've registered to run for City Council in Ward 39, Scarborough, Egypt. As a member of Parliament, I had the opportunity to work on local, national, and international issues. I want to focus on local issues that I've worked on with my constituents over the years. When marijuana grow houses were rampant in our area, I established a task force with, which included colleagues in all three levels of government, Toronto Police Services, the OPP, and RCMP, and many other government agencies to get rid of the community of grow houses. As a matter of fact, we had the meeting in this very room. Rooming houses have and continue to spring up in our area, although there's some folks in this place that are in favor, and I'm talking about people in City Hall, of these houses, I and my neighbors in Scarborough Court are greatly concerned with the quality of life and safety of the residents in these homes. During the SARS epidemic, the Scarborough Grace Hospital was the epicenter. Working with my colleagues in Ottawa, we were able to address quickly the issues of salaries through employment insurance for people that were affected and working on in the front lines. We brought in resources to assist and enhance the health care services of local frontline workers. I've been involved in the rezoning plans in the Brightwood Mall from the beginning and will continue to work with the residents to make sure that we get the right development mix to enhance our quality of life. Ward 39, Scarborough Court, is one of the most ethnically diverse neighborhoods in the city of Toronto. I've made sure that Toronto, especially Scarborough Court, has received and will continue to receive funds for settlement services to look after the needs of newcomers. Prior to the recent Announcement by the National Board, Energy Board, to approve the company's proposal. I held meetings with residents and colleagues with respect to the flow, reversal, and expansion of Enbridge Line Number 9B during the public consultation period. That cuts right across the riding, right across the, the ward along um, McNichol and, and the hydro field. I've heard loud and clear that residents of Ward 39, Scarborough Age Court, want the subway line across Shepherd. Although the federal and provincial governments announced the extension of a subway line along the LRT line of Midland, we must ensure that Shepherd gets the same attention. All three levels of government must work together to ensure that this is accomplished. The residents north of 401 deserve nothing less. As a parliamentary secretary of transport, I work with the city of Toronto officials, the people of Ward 39, Scarborough Agent Court, and Go Transit to ensure that sound of loud train whistles on Go trains traveling south along the eastern border of Ward 39, Scarborough Agent Court, did not disturb area residents, especially in the morning hours. As the parliamentary secretary of transport, with special emphasis on the environment, I worked hard to make sure that Canada and Toronto have the right tools to address the transport of hazardous material, as well as smog days. I bring political experience and will continue to work with other levels of government to make sure that I deliver programs that meet the needs of the residents of Ward 39, Scarborough Agent Court. I have good working relationship with the federal and provincial government and elected officials. I want to cut red tape and make sure that both the City of Toronto and the residents of Ward 39 get what they need and deserve for a better quality of life. There's still a lot of work to be done. I'm a long-time resident of Ward 39. With the respect of the people of Ward 39, my family, friends, and volunteers, I'm looking forward to continuing to serve my neighbors. There are seven months of campaigning ahead of us, and it's important that we discuss the issues to listen to the needs of the people of Toronto, the best city in the world. Thank you for coming out, and if anybody has any questions, please fire away. 
Why not, why not running for a high position like mayor? Um, I believe you got to be humble, and I believe you got to crawl, walk, and run. Um, I ran federally, and um, I need to be making sure that I represent the Ward 39 of Scarborough Ridge, where I'm a longtime resident. I lived, I represented the riding for 25 years. I lived in the ward for 20, 21 years. So I think I know my neighbors, I think I know my streets, and I think that I, I need to start uh, somewhere. But uh, nothing is, you never say never. Anybody else? Superb? Sorry, why the shift from federal politics to municipal level at this time? Um, family, mostly. I need to be close to um, mom, and to be close to my wife and my uh, my children. And I, hopefully, uh, in the near future, I'll have grandchildren, and I want to be able to take them to school. I missed, uh, my oldest daughter was 10 years old when I started federal politics, and my youngest was six. I used to take them to school before that started, and I missed not been able to take them to school. I was there for the important dates, but I want to be part of their lives even more and to be closer to family. Jim, uh, do you think you will have uh, less responsibilities than the parliamentarian? Um, thank you for the question. But you are, I know you are not going to stop. You know. um, the stuff that I've worked on, the different communities, um, we will do it now at another level. Uh, an email I sent out last night and I said to communities, I'm looking to be your diversity advocate um, at City Hall, and I'm looking to work with communities um, on local level in order to make sure that they grow. And we have the in City Hall representation that um, reflects the needs of different communities across Canada uh, and across the City of Toronto especially. In the City of Toronto, um, we are the most ethnically diverse city in the world. And there's many communities that have been left behind when it comes to uh, municipal politics, uh, provincial and federal, and we've got to make sure that we engage and make sure that uh, there's a voice there. And I hope that I'm their voice. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. All right, thank you all. Hello.
Oh, my name is Yamada.